So hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 645546-3728. And I was watching Joe Rogan's guest, Peter Schiff, um, yesterday. And it struck me that this dude is the epitome of uh, capitalist collapse, the collapse of capitalism. Maybe not permanently, but like catastrophic capitalist cat capitalism collapse this guy decided to move from um, Connecticut to Puerto Rico because he would not have to pay federal income taxes and I think pretty much encouraged ah he is well the last time he was on Joe show um, a lot of uh, people um, learned about the fact that Puerto Ricans in Puerto Rico or people who live in Puerto Rico don't pay federal income tax to the United States government and um, he said that uh, they heard him and they moved there because of him and he's really pleased with himself because of that and um, furthermore he wants very small government like um, but I think he he considers himself a libertarian or something along those lines, I believe. But um, that's not especially unique. I mean, people who are wealthy, like himself as a businessman, you try to avoid paying taxes by claiming that your residence is in some place where you don't need to pay income tax. Like um, that guy from Virgin, the owner of, you know, all the Virgin... The Virgin Atlantic, Virgin whatever, he has his residence in some small island that he owns and he claims it's for its health. He's a billionaire, so he doesn't want to pay taxes. So that in itself is not really too unusual. I, I'm sure these people want um, the U.S. government to, to do many of the things that... Um, but then again, you know, he claims that businesses should be allowed to fail. All of them. Everybody. He doesn't think that anything should have been done to help any of the businesses um, with respect to the coronavirus or with respect to recessions or with respect to helping individuals to get by. They should have had enough money on their own. Um, Social Security, Medicare, doesn't think that's a good idea. And part of the reason for that is because way back in the 1940s, um, most people didn't pay any income tax, any federal income tax at all. And things used to be just fine. Is he missing the part where after the Depression and there was 25% unemployment that the government introduced Social Security in order to reduce the pain and the suffering that people would have to go through as a result of the Depression. It, it, is that lost on him? I guess he doesn't have any relatives who lived through that period to tell him about how awful it would have been. I guess he doesn't have any relatives to tell him about the Spanish flu and how awful it would have been because he thinks that they shouldn't have had a lockdown you know what whatever was going to happen should have happened now from the point of view of evolution um, that's all well and good you know as human beings we look around and we see how all the different uh, plants and animals supposedly are interconnected and fit into each other's um, you know this fit into the specific niches that seem to be in harmony. What we don't see, of course, is all the death that um, occurred in order for that to happen. All of the just suffering and pain and death and infections and, you know, vaccines that have pre prevented us from having 
you know, people in our family die regularly from tetanus and measles and and hearing loss and you know polio where kids would have uh, different nervous system diseases or problems neurological problems i guess this guy has he visited the third world to see and not not even like the third world in in the cities you know you can go to the third world and see very wealthy people in very you know well off neighborhoods but i think if he wants there to be no as he said very very little government and everything was fine i think this guy is i don't know how long he's been wealthy or if he's ever really um been poor because he sounds the complete opposite of um of chamath this other billionaire uh i guess is he a no, he's a venture capitalist i guess you would call him because chamath came from sri lanka he grew up poor and yet what he's trying to do is to invest in long-term businesses businesses that people who want quick returns would avoid things like diabetes and other health issues to to combat that kind of thing because Jamath has said that lots of people in his family have died as a result of diabetes but it's not something that you can get a quick return on you know trying to combat that but uh Peter Schiff really sounds like he wants some kind of mad max dystopian present where people are literally dying in the streets um because they weren't smart enough to um plan for the future and you know at least Joe Rogan pushed back a little bit but you know between the fact that Peter Shift is um is powerful probably much more so than Joe Rogan I don't know um well with respect to Joe Rogan's new deal with Spotify um maybe maybe not but this is this is new money for Joe Rogan he's been a comic and he's been pushing his podcast for a long time so this is new money for him I don't know how long Peter Schiff has been wealthy um or if his family has been wealthy like uh, Bill Gates or so or um the guy from Facebook but um he really talks like someone who doesn't know how bad things can get and why people come to the US for a better life in many instances it's not a question of people being um stupid per se they are just things that you would know if you have access to the knowledge if you read a lot reading is in some way concentrated life experience and thought out life experience it's not always good for example um the bell curve as i was talking about that is people who put thing pens to paper as you would say or uh fingers to the keyboard and still manage to produce tripe but as i've said if you have a a diverse um reading material um you'll be able to compare and contrast what's better and what's not and i don't know if peter schiff i don't know what creates this life experience for him to just basically say let it all burn he sounds like the guy from fight club you know fighting where you would hunt venison as uh what's his name brad pitt said in fight club you would hunt venison i think somewhere like in the white house or somewhere in in washington dc basically just chaos um i don't really want that i have to admit um i get angry when i see other people doing silly things and they remain unconvinced of a better path um yeah i get upset but at the same time 
do I want to see them really suffer what um, they're suggesting? Uh, no, not not really. Because in a world where everybody has to suffer um, f with respect to what they do, uh, the stupid mistakes or the stupid ideas that they have, that includes me. And, and I don't want to have to deal with that either. So, yeah, I think Mr. Schiff, I'm, I'm going to listen to some more of what he said, but just just to know how crazy the world can be. Anyway, guys, you can wish me luck. So you can like, unlike, comment, subscribe, and or share. And, of course, you'll make me sad, but you can do nothing. Peace.